Hello, I'm Greg Perez with my co-host today, Joan Monin, owner of the famous Wild Hair Saloon. Thanks we're, for having me. And we're here in Canby, and uh, we're bringing you what What's is happening, happening in Canby. First off, we're into the new year of 2014. Joan, are there any changes you're going to make in the new year? I am going to get more organized in my office. I am going to do the same thing, and it's been a work in progress, but I'm still purging. Yes. I purge once, I leave everything there, yes. and I purge again. Yes. So anyway, uh, that's one of mine too. So everybody's doing this. There are a lot of new changes in the laws so that everybody should know this. The main one comes to mind is the use of handphones. So while driving, if I'm not mistaken, the minimum fine for a class C violation is $142. And the fine for this offense can go up to as much as $500. You got an extra five? Nope, driving I sure down don't. The road in Texas? I don't. I don't think so, and I don't either. So Put the phones away. You betcha. The fines increase is aimed at reducing the number of crashes that involve a driver talking on a handheld phone or texting. So stay safe in Canby. January 3rd is the first Friday, which is going to be tomorrow. Right. And uh, in Canby. So come out and show your support for the local businesses from 5 to 9 p.m. They'll be waiting for you. I love First Friday. So First Friday is actually January 3rd, so keep that in mind. Yes, it's tomorrow, and the Canby High School girls basketball will also be hosting a uh, game against Silverton at 7 p.m., which you are broadcasting? Yeah, we're broadcasting live from Canby yes. High School. And their next home game after that will be January 10th, 28th, and the 31st. And, yes. So the, the games are also televised uh, locally here at, at, at the Wild Hair and other businesses in town, which is a great feature. Our customers love to watch the games, the football games you, we did. It is just creates a great environment down here. Everyone's rooting on our local Cougars and that's, have a good time. That's good. And what I understand, Tony is thinking about doing more of the sports at the high school live, going live. We're going to try to work our way into wrestling, too, because that's that kind be of an unknown. Yes. And we want to bring that out in the open. Yeah. So Canby High School girls are playing. On Tomorrow Friday, night. January 3rd, so yeah. that, they're pretty good. Yes, they are. They are pretty good. Also, The Place to Be will be having live music featuring Olivia Harms on January 3rd, tomorrow night, Side Project on January 10th, and Shirley Yates on January 17th. All of these start times are at 6.30 at The Place to Be. And that's on 2nd, right? Yeah. That's on 2nd. Yep. What, you know, you have something special coming up in your life? I do. What is it? My daughter is a, a ballerina and she will be performing in the Allegro Winter Ballet, Alice in Wonderland, which will be Saturday, January 18th at seven o'clock here in town, or two shows on January 19th at one o'clock or five o'clock. And uh, tickets go on sale at Thriftway. She will be Tweedledee. That's what I was gonna yeah. ask. Yeah. Tweedledee? Tweedledee. I'll be darned. This is the annual chamber event that is coming up. The theme is Hidden, a masquerade event. The annual auction dinner will be January 25th at 5.30 p.m. at the Willamette Country Club. This event is sponsored by Canby Telecom and Canby Area Chamber. Chamber. So this yes. is a, an excellent event. It is people wonderful. People donate. Yes. The Wild Hair is donating our party bus. I think they're going to try and package it with maybe a, possibly a wine tour. Um, an event into Portland. So lots of fun things are being auctioned off. The purchase, come out and support your local community. The wild hair. Yeah. I saw the wild hair out front too. Yeah. The Interesting. Hair on wheels. Hair on wheels. That's what it is. On January 28th at the Canby Library, there is a speaker and his name is Michael Anderson. He will speak on the future of local information. The event is free and starts at 6.30 p.m. On January 30th at Cuts First Town Hall, there will be a free health talk workshop. It will go from 7 to 8 p.m. I think that's something I might want to uh, check it out. I want to see what yeah. it is so I can let the community know that don't know about this information. A message to the Cami community. If you have some free time and don't know what to do with yourself, volunteer in the community. The Cami School District is in need of dedicated volunteers to help on a regular basis. A new program is on the horizon and will match you up with your skills. Contact CTV channel for more information or Canby School District office. That's a good opportunity for individuals that have free time that uh, don't know what to do. Sure. And so if they have some type of skill that they could um, 
offer in a classroom, uh, like reading or writing, um, things of that nature, uh, I think would be a good thing for them yeah. and for the children in the school district too. Great. So Joan, can you let the cat out of the bag for this year's Hair Fest? Hair Fest number four will be on July 19th and 20th this summer here on the property. And uh, we look forward to having many great bands return again. Um, this year we have booked a heart tribute band. They're called Barracuda out of Vancouver, BC. So they're gonna be hitting the lineup as well on Sunday. So we're hoping for a big weekend. So is the weather, how's the weather during that time? It is the number one weekend for nice weather. Oh, no, good. We've checked all the stats. <laughs> <laughs> we've done our homework. Oh, good. That's So keeping was, our fingers crossed. Wasn't it warm yeah. last year? Yes, it was. It's yeah. Extremely warm. Yeah. I think I remember that. Yeah. This is a message from Tony. I want to let everybody know that uh, he'd like to thank our community for supporting their local CTV5. He said that, there's, that they're growing and they need volunteers in the station for editing, for camera work, and for web design. Contact the executive director, Tony Gonzalez, at 503-263-6287 or OCTS at Camby.com. Yeah. It's a good opportunity it to is. learn some good skills. It is. Well, I'd like to say thank you, Joan, for co-hosting the show today. Let's all work together this year to accomplish our missions. Thank you, and keep it classy, Camby. Okay. Thank Bye you. Now. This February is Heart Month. Hooden River Chocolate and Wine Bar will be hosting the Ladies Champagne Tasting on February 5th at 6.30. It's $10 with the proceeds to benefit Providence Medical Center Willamette Falls. There's limited seating, so get your reservations early.